Yeah, so there's been a huge amount of change in in technology over the last uh, over the last twelve months. Um, I think that the pace of change, particularly, we've seen uh, is phenomenal. And if we look at things like Office three six five, the the speed of innovation in that product has has led us to have to reinvent the way we work with our customers. Uh, that's led us to kind of doing far more workshops, doing exploration exercises on a much more regular basis because these features are being added on a monthly basis. It's almost impossible for our customers to keep up with the change, but there's huge value in some of those additions. And without knowing what those additions are, they can't open up and unlock that value for their businesses. We always look at it from a perspective of will it, will it help that customer to make more money or to drive efficiency within that business? And that's the start point for every decision around technology for me. Um, one, one of the key things that I think customers need to consider now is things like the, their decision points. So when they're coming up to uh, making that decision for a technology refresh, whether it's a server, whether it's an application uh, that needs changing, uh, is, to take, is to take a step back and pause and to consider what, what their options are. Now, if they're not getting any guidance or help or assistance as to what those options might be through their technology provider, uh, then it might be a, a time to be looking wider in the marketplace because good technology providers should be now providing their customers with choice at renewal point, which is different from what's happened in the past. Rather than it just being a, well, your old server's failed, here's a brand new server, it should be a, a point to pause and look at the appropriateness of using servers on premise. What value would they get potentially from using cloud-based servers or solutions? Are there cost savings efficiencies or could it drive more sales um, uh, through, through changing the way uh, that they work? For example, uh, we know there's been a huge shift to, to home working. Uh, we just look at our own business now, over 40% of our, our workforce are either home-based uh, or, or actually uh, home workers. So they you know, operate predominantly from either a mobile location or from home. And of course, we, we have hot desking areas within the offices if they, if they do decide to pop in. So a huge change in the way that businesses work um, today. But those decision points are going to be quite important now going forward. And I think they need to be seen as a time to stop and pause and reflect um, rather than just carry on.